Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. Today we're going to spend a little time with James T. Farrell, great Irish writer, 1904-1979, best known as the author of the Studs Lonigan trilogy, although he wrote many, many other books, over 40 books, uh, maybe even more than that, uh, in his long career. Uh, other series he did included the Danny O'Neill f- series and so forth, and many standalone novels, all of which are worth your time to seek out. Uh, you vintage paperback collectors uh, may be familiar with many of those other books that he published. This is the current Penguin edition of the Studs Lonigan trilogy with a photograph that dates actually from 1938 uh, of, of a uh, someone from that period and this is all three volumes in one Um, so this is really the best way to read it is to read all three at once so they were published in this order young lonigan was published in 1932 that was the first volume the young manhood of studs lonigan was published in 1934 and judgment day was published in 1935 so these are depression era books about studs lonigan uh, in his life and adventures during that period of American history. Fascinating material. Some people have referred to the Studs Lonigan, Lonigan trilogy as an American tragedy, uh, and I would, I would agree with that. That's a really good way to summarize what you have here. You have an American tragedy, and uh, it's really compelling material to read. Um, Farrell was not the type of writer that put a lot of poetic flourishes into his work. Uh, You don't find that. You find a lot of declarative sentences, um, very much in the uh, journalistic style that was popularized by Hemingway some years earlier. And I don't know if Farrell was specifically influenced by Hemingway. It seems to me that when you look at the material from the 20s and 30s and even into the 40s and early 50s that Hemingway influence uh, is seems to be prevalent in a lot of the American writers because of what he did the way he did it you know he would put one sentence after another and the story would follow logically that way just telling it as it is this happened here then this and this Uh, and then you know that journalistic style um, transformed itself into something else later on and Hemingway is largely responsible for that Farrell pretty much writes in the same same manner uh, I wouldn't compare him to Hemingway specifically or stylistically but you can kind of see it you know that clipped that clipped style is there this is what happened to, on Tuesday and so forth so again not a lot of poetry but compelling great insight into human nature he sets the scene. He, he, he shows you the world that Studs Lonigan lives in, which is a pretty rough world uh, in the Depression era of Chicago, by the way. Uh, James T. Farrell did live and work in Chicago for many years and then ended up in New York for most of his adult life, I think, after that, where he finally passed away in 1979. So the Studs Lonigan trilogy is something really worth your time. It's really my one of my favorite <coughs> works from that period. Um, I really think it's uh, it's amazing to me how popular the Studs Lonigan trilogy has remained all these decades. It's still in print; people still read it, uh, and they should. Uh, you know, for you readers out there who haven't touched upon it yet, this is this is something to dive into. If you're not willing to do a big thick trilogy in one volume like this you could do you could do young lon again start at the beginning and so forth this edition here just to show you a different edition this is the second one the young manhood of studs lonigan which has one of those old 1940s style covers on it this is a 1940s reprint of the original 1935 book so this is a war era uh, world war ii era reprint and some of these books, by the way, were distributed to the uh, armed forces overseas during World War II. And this is the Franklin Library edition of of the uh, of the first one, Young Lonigan. And this is a nice edition to have as well. Um, this was published in 1979. So for those of you that like to collect a more quality binding. These Franklin Franklin Library books 
uh, are easily found, I think, on eBay and so forth. There, there are many, many of them from many different authors. So James T. Farrell is a really a great writer to read. And I want to also point out, uh, since we were talking about he wrote so much, you know, I'm just focusing today on the Studs Lonigan series. I do have a collection of his short stories, too, that was published by the University of Illinois Press some years back. And this is what that edition looks like. I think this is easy to find as well. And these are Chicago stories. So even though Farrell went from Chicago to New York, uh, he's pretty much known uh, and regarded as a Chicago writer um, because of the setting of the Studs Lonigan series and some of the other work as well. Uh, well worth your time to read. So today we're giving a tip of the hat to James T. Farrell, the great Irish writer from Chicago. Studs Lonigan, stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, read a book.